श्रीमद भक्ति बिंद स्वामी महाराज प्रैप्स यू नो वाई चैतन्य महाप्रभु डिसेंडेंट इन दिस वर्ल्ड रूप गोस्वामी डेट दी मनोभिष्ट ऑफ श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु श्री चैतन्य मनोभिष्ट स्थापित जैन भूतले स्वयं रूप कदा मह्यम ददा शपदांतिक आफ्टर दैट अवर अहोल गुरु परंपरा के इन द लास्ट प्रभुपाद सेन श्री भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी महाराज and after that you are all inviting me here why what is the purpose that chaitanya mahaprabhu came or guru parampara came and in the last you invited me also and so many from various countries and all over australia you have invited and why they have oh gathered here I want to hear something from Brajvalla Prabhu. Om Magyana Timaranda Sha Gananjana Shalakaya Chaksur Unmilitam Mena Tashmai Shri Guru Vena Maha we can only offer back um, <clears throat> what we have heard to those whom we have heard it from otherwise it's total impudence impertinence for a junior to speak in front of one's seniors but since we've been asked for our purification and our benefit we should try and at least touch upon the greatness of Uh, the question that's been asked why chaitanya mahaprabhu has come and why shri gurudev has come in very simple terms when shri sanatan goswami prabhu met chaitanya mahaprabhu uh, i think for the first time he said everyone is calling me a pandit a greatly learned personality he said yes i'm such a great learned personality yes i don't know who i am so what kind of pundit is that that i don't even know who i am so chaitanya mahaprabhu has come to give the most elementary necessity of the jiva to the highest necessity of the jiva and this great science of krishna consciousness that our Srila Prabhupada introduced into the Western world is being developed up and developed up and this was his desire. So according to the individual, they have a relationship with Sri Gurudev and they're inviting him here. But really, we don't know who we are, but Krishna knows who we are. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu knows who we are and his agent, the guru knows who we are so he wants us to find out who we are and in that knowing we can unite with the supreme lord shri krishna chaitanya shri shri radha govinda and our supreme benefit can be attained why chaitanya mahaprabhu came to this world shri lagura davis explained these things at great length endlessly from the time we first had the good fortune of meeting him uh, and that has been vividly described in shri chaitanya uh, chaitanya charitamrita and you are all familiar with that so we are transmigrating you know throughout the cycle of birth and death and this is not a joke uh, janma mrityu janma vyadi Uh, suffering birth and death so it is natural at our stage of development that we should want this to end so this is the beginning stage 
So sincerely, from this stage, we should develop up our Krishna consciousness attentively and surrender to the lotus feet of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's agent. So, can I pass it on to someone else who can describe deeply these things? Thank you. Then Bandhu Prabhu will speak two minutes. Namo Vishnu Padaya, Krishna Prista Bhutali, Srimati Gauru Govinda Samane Tanamani. Namo Vishnu Padaya, Radhika Pratmani Shishim Bhint Bhaktivedanta Narayana Tinamani. So, Braja Balababhu very nicely described the uh, meaning of why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came and why Srila Gurudev has come. So, um, all of us use this word, Guru, sometimes very lightly. The uh, meaning of guru means teacher. So we see all throughout the world, so many teachers are there. We accept so many gurus. We have gurus who teach us music. Our teachers at school are our gurus. Uh, even for the wife, husband is guru. So if we look at guru in this sense, then we're somewhat lacking in our understanding. Actually, we're grossly lacking in our understanding. Actually, we have no understanding of what is Guru. Actually, in most of the uh, Shastras, Guru is not referred to as teacher, not referred to as Guru. He's referred to as Sri Guru. And this word Sri has... Sorry, I can't turn around properly. But this word Sri has very deep significance in our Vaishnava uh, association. This Sri is related to things that are auspicious, things that are very wonderful. This Sri also relates to Lakshmi Devi. She's Sri. But even deeper than that, even more transcendental, even more uh, uh, loving, this Sri means Sri Mati Radharani. So when we refer to Sri Guru Dev, we're actually referring to the deep, transcendental, wonderful, loving compassion that Sri Mati Radharani has for all conditioned souls. But even more so, the deep love that she has for Sri Krishna. So Sri Guru, he is the embodiment of Srimati Radharani's love for Krishna. So we may say, well, how is that? But actually Sri Guru, he loves so deeply all of the living entities in this vast creation, both spiritual and material, that he can't tolerate the... Jiva's separation from the service of Sri Krishna. This is actually our transcendental nature. Just like we see outside the, the rain, the water is making everything wet. Because that's its nature, it can't help it. When it rains, everything will get wet. So in the same way, the intrinsic nature of the soul is to be engaged in the service of Sri Sri Radha and Krishna. We can't help it. It's our nature. No matter how hard we try in this material world, like myself, to enjoy this wonderful creation that we have here, it's not natural for us. And the real nature, the real natural transcendental propensity in all living entities is drawn out from the living entity only by Sri Guru. So Sri Guru, Sri Guru Dev, is none other than Srimati Radharani's affection for Krishna and her love and deep compassion for all souls. So we should see Sri Guru in that way. Therefore, Sri the Guru Dev asked, Oh, why have you invited me? I wonder if anybody here is asking the same question. Actually, I, I can imagine 
why wouldn't we invite Sri Guru in our presence? Because he has come to deliver the transcendental and deep message of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, which is to absorb ourselves in the transcendental love of Srimati Radharani and Sri Krishna. Jai Srila Gurudev. Thank you. Usual respect to ours. Namaham Vishnu Banaya Krishna Bastaya Bhutalaya Shrimati Go Govinda Swami Niti Namani Namaham Vishnu Banaya Radhikaya Priyamane Shri Shri Mad Bhaktivedanta Srila Naramaraji Namani I just remember my Guru Maharaj Srila Go Govinda Maharaj would always stress the necessity of Sadhu Sangha. More louder, please. My Guru Maharaj Srila Narayan Maharaj would always stress the necessity of Sadhu Sangha because without the necessity of Sadhu Sangha, we are completely lost in this material world. So, uh, just by the gesture or the glance of sadhu, we can make so much advancement that we are completely unaware of. But they, by their mercy and by their association, uh, we can go up. Otherwise, like I said, we're lost. So, uh, Guru Maharaj, uh, really, that was his main um, preaching in ISKCON, the importance of sadhu sangha. And that's why um, we've invited you, Guru Dave. Otherwise... We are, we are hopeless and we are lost. Thank you. Thank you. Ilasuk Prabhu will speak to all. Amagana Tamanda Shaganangana Salakaya Chaksunaman Tamina Tasma Sri Gare Namaha. So, Sri Lagurudev's come to Mullambar again. He'll be. Um, He'll be speaking here every night for five days, is that right? And I want to make sure that everybody comes and you tell all your friends to come and even tell your enemies to come. Because hearing what Guru Dave's speaking is going to be benefit to everyone. Why do I say this? Because bhakti, pseudo bhakti, pure bhakti is not a thing of this material world. It is not a commodity that you can go to Coles and get off the shelves. Pure bhakti comes from the transcendental world. The vehicle for pure bhakti coming to this world, pure Vaishnava, a sadhu. A sadhu brings bhakti to this world. Bhagavad Gita tells us what, what is this world. Eight elements, ether, fire, air, water, earth, five gross elements and three subtle elements. Mind, intelligence, and false ego. And Bhagavad Gita also tells us that these elements are all dancing. Prakriti, Kriyamanini, Gunai, Kamanis, Vashiha, Ahankar, Vamudhatma, Kartamitamanyate. But we are under the illusion that we are the doers. We are looking at this dancing, these eight dancing energies and thinking that we can control them. We can manipulate this energy to make things better for ourselves. But we can't. We can't control this material energy. Lord Brahma, Brahmaji, the... Um, our, um, our Adi Guru, he thought that he could change energy. What happened? Krishna bewildered him. And then he became humble. With hum folded arms, humbly he spoke to Krishna. Kavaham tamomaharaham kachiragni vabhu samvesti tandagara saptavitastakaya kved vigvadhavaganatanda pranachaya vitadva roma vivrasya tate mahitvam. Lord Brahmaji, he said, What am I? Just a pot, a, like a. Um, Seven spans of my own on my the length of my um, of my hand, filled with these uh, with these elements. But what is Krishna? Krishna is he's unlimited. Unlimited universes flow through the pores of his skin every moment, just like air flows through a screen. Lord Brahmaji, he became humble, and he approached Krishna in the right mood. If we approach the sadhu. Because Sadhu is not like us. He's not Bahir Mukh. He's not watching these dancing dead energies. He is watching the dancing of Radha and Krishna within his heart. If we approach Sadhu with a non-critical mood, not criticizing and not with a hypocritical mood, not pretending that we're something that we're not, in this mood, if we approach Sadhu, then he, the reflection of his heart can come in our heart. Bhakja and Jachi Bhakja. Srimad Bhagavatam tells us that bhakti comes from bhakti. And even in this lifetime, even today, tomorrow, very soon, 
in the association of a sadhu, if we approach him in the right mood, we can also get bhakti. And this is why we've invited Guru Dev. Anchakalpa Tubis Chakrits in the Vedanta Bhakti Paramahana Vaishnavi on the Monomaha. I heard that uh, Radharani has served Krishna so much that Krishna can never repay that debt. So in an attempt to repay that debt, Krishna has come to this world in the form of Sri Taitanya Mahaprabhu to collect up maid servants to serve the lotus feet of Sri Madhi Radharani. Really Lord Chaitanya has come to, to find the lost servants of Radharani. So we can understand that Sri Guru is a Gora Priya Jana and Radha Priya Shaki. So Sri Guru has come for that same purpose, to find, find servants, to render service to Radharani. So we're so fortunate, we can understand that if, if we're here in the presence of such a Radha Priya Shaki and a Gora Priya Jana, Krishna has decided Guru's decided to one day to make us maid servants of Radharani, and we're so lucky. Thank you, Guru Dev. Shamran, two words. Om Gyanam Timiran Dasya Gyanam Jana Salakaya Chaksuran Militam Yena Tasmai Sri Guru Venama In two very brief histories, I'd like to share just that Adam of the reason why Srila Gurudev came. There was a quarrel between Visvamitra Muni and uh, Vasista Muni. Visvamitra Muni was saying that my severe austerities are the greatest and most powerful things in the universe. And Vasista Muni was saying my Sadhu Sangha is the greatest and most powerful. They couldn't resolve their quarrel so they approached Anantadev who's holding all the universes on his millions of hoods. When Anantadev heard this question, he said, this is a very heavy question. But I'm already engaged in a very heavy activity. I'm already holding the universes on my head. If somehow or other one of you could relieve that burden, then I could answer this other heavy question. So Visramitra said, I'll give you all the results of my great severe austerities and penances. So Anantadev little bit took his head out of one of the universes and all of a sudden all the seas started churning, the mountains started falling, everything started tilting. So he put his head right back. And then Vasista Muni said, I'll give you one second of my sadhu sangha. And he pulled his head back and the universe remained as it was. It's so powerful. In Srimad Bhagavatam, Srimati Devahuti said that even unknowingly associating with the great sadhu, just by taking prasadam with him, speaking with him, even apparently mundane talks, <coughs> one's whole life can be changed. And if one does so knowingly, then the results are indescribable. Another very brief history is the history of Jana Sharma and Gop Kumar. Gop Kumar is the associate of Srimati Radhika and Krishna, a coward boyfriend just like Subal, a great associate like Mother Yasoda, never a conditioned soul. But he met with, by the order of Radhika, he met with Jana Sharma, a conditioned soul, really, not just an example of a conditioned soul, but a conditioned soul who hadn't done really any sadhana. He had gotten Gayatri Mantra from Parvati, but with no guidance, no rules and regulations, no deep meanings. So. Gov Kumar was teaching him all the tattvas, all the way up to Braj Prem tattva. And Jana Sharma was knowing the tattvas now, surrendering with faith to his guru, but no feelings, no tears. So Gov Kumar put his hand on his head and he said, now you will get all realization. So then Jana Sharma closed his eyes, opened his eyes, he found himself 
in Goloka Vrindavan and running to Krishna and Krishna running to him, the, both of them embracing and falling to the ground, weeping and fainting. So Gurudev said, Sri Sanatana Goswami gave this verse, Mahat Sangha Mahatmyam Etaivat Paramad Bhutam. The effects of Sadhu Sangha are super astounding and miraculous. Now, Gurudev gave this lecture in Badger where there's a river. He said, if you have any doubts in the great power of Sadhu Sangha, then take all your doubts and throw them all in the river. Don't have any doubts, don't be hopeless, take that shelter, and all miraculous effects are achieved, and that's why Sula <coughs> Gurudev came. Thank you. Thank you. I'm very happy to come here. And so, my daughters, sons, and all, my God brothers also. When I came to Malaysia, only for one day I spoke there, but so many devotees came and inspired. I thought that this is big gathering. But when I, here I came, I saw oh, more big gathering than Malaysia also. <laughs> and so many devotees. I think this lecture hall is of who? Oh, this hall belongs to the From town. You have collected for classes. Mm. I thought that he, he has boiled. Next week. Next. Next week he'll boil. Oh. So. Each and every person should have a goal of life. Without goal and goal and aim of life. We are all like animals, not animals only, foolish, like donkeys. Yeah. I'm not telling, but Shastra is telling like, dharme nehina pasu samana, like donkeys. Self-killer even. So what is the aim and object? I told in Malaysia, Jasya Deve Parabhakti. What is meaning of Parabhakti? To its endless Sima. What? Hmm? Prema Bhakti. Go on more. Dasya Bhakti. Oh, Rara Mahaprabhu told, oh, go on. Is it okay? Then Sakya, oh, Yoho Uttam, Age Koha. And then Barsal, oh, very good, very, very good. But I want to hear something more. Oh, Gopi Prem, oh, very good. But something more, can you tell? Then he told what? Oh, Radha Prem, ah, yes. Something more? Oh, in this world, there are no who can ask more than this. But there is something. Sambandhaganuga Bhakti and Kamatmika Bhakti. Nand Baba, Jasoda Maya and all are Sammandhanuga. Sammandhatmika. Sammandhatmika. Sammandhatmika, not Sammandha. Sammandhatmika. But gopis are Kamatmika. Kamatmika bhakti is also of two kinds. Kamatmika, Sambhogatmika and Tattat Bhavichita. That is Ulla Sarati. Oh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came only to give this. Not Udnat Ujjwala Rasa. 
it is in madanakya bhav in radhika malli so he wanted to test it himself because in krishna past time he could not realize all these things not tested and one thing he could not give the process of this kamatmika and tat tat bhave chha tat atmika he could not give the process so rup goswami told anarpiti charing chirat karunaya vatir nah kalau समर्पयितुम उन्नतोज्जलसंग स्वभक्ति श्रियम व्हाट इज द मीनिंग समर्पयितुम करुणया आउट ऑफ मर्सी यू वांटेड टू गिव व्हाट उन्नत उज्जल रसंग स्वभक्ति से नॉट उत्तल उज्जल रस इट इज इन श्रीमती राधिका मल्ली He wanted to test it, but samarpayi tum karunaya unnat ujjwal rasang sab bhakti. The beauty of unnat ujjwal, not unnat ujjwal. There is difference between unnat ujjwal ras and the beauty. Like a creeper, without leaves, manjaris, or flowers, no beauty. तो राधिका में भी दी कृपा बट ब्यूटी फेयर लिप्स फ्लावर्स एंड एस्पेशली इन मंजरी ललता एंड विशाखा आर मोर सुपीरियर देन रूप मंजरी एंड अदर्स बट इन सम केस ललता विल हैव टू गो and take permission may i come may i come in sir she will have to be order directly they cannot go to radha and krishna but rup manjari rati manjari always serving if they are naked even so chaitanya mahaprabhu came mercifully to give this manjari mood ullas rati so this should be the aim and object highest of any jeev in this world but rare at rare so chaitanya mahaprabhu himself can with his associates like rupa goswami sanatan goswami like others hmm? what to give this raganuga marg रागानुग मार्ग व्हाट इज द पेयर ऑफ चैतन्य राग मार्ग भक्ति करीते प्रचार इन फोर्थ फर्स्ट आदि लीला हैज नॉट कम ओनली टू गिव ओ हरिनाम टू प्रीच हरिनाम नॉट ओनली दिस ओ दैट कैन बी डन बाय अद्वैताचार्य एंड अदर्स But a special this thing, Raganuga Marg, and that highest thing, th- thing I told the mood of Rup Goswami. Anyone cannot give without Krishna, and the associates of Radhika. So our Guru Parampara Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself, Krishna, in the form of Radha Bhav Dutha Shabalitam. Oh, he came only to give this very rare thing. Not only by the bhakti, but the bhakti has been preached by so many acharyas, so many Ramanuj, Madhva Acharya, Vishnu Swami, Nimbadita Acharya. Even Marjada bhakti has been preached by Ram and given. The Singh Dev gave something. Hmm? Raudra Ras he gave. and so many get hmm? even bias being a narayan tattva he never knew this by the mercy a special mercy of nard goswami he knew these things and he advised him to 
or give this sweet pastimes of Krishna. You have told about dharma, earth, kam, moksha. In other Puran, you have told about Krishna. But Krishna is covered with dharma, earth, kam, moksha. Now you should do. You have not told that Krishna was bonded by his mother Jasoda, even now non hybrid. You have not written that Krishna holding his hands, keeping his peak of feather, peak of feather and float on the lotus feet of Radhika. No pare ham nirvadha sanju. I cannot repay you, even in the eye uh, of demigods, never. So these are things. You are very fortunate to hear all these things. How to have these things? Oh, begin from beginning. Shramanam, Kirtanam, Vaidhi Bhakti. Especially, Adav Saddha, Tata Sadhu Sangha, Anartha Nibhritti, Nishtha, Ruchi, Asakti, then Suddha Sattva. Suddha Sattva in this world, very rare. Very rare. Suddha Sattva, Visheshatma, Prem Sujjan, Sushamya Bhat, Ruchvi, Chittam, Mahasrinya, Krita, Asa, Bhav, Uttar Chat. First Avhas of Prem in this world. And after nothing to practice in this world. Only Bhav Bhakti. For these things, Swamiji came, Bhakti Vedan Swami Maharaj. But what happened? He saw that there are so many jungles, hmm? no fertile land. He began to cut the jungles of Maya, Vat, Sakhi, Veki and all other things. Varnasam, Dharma, so many things. He wanted to establish first Daiva Varnasam. Hmm? Be situated in Daiva Varnasam. And then practice all these. But you should know always. Sadhu Sang, Sadhu Sang, Sadhu Sang, Sarva Shastri. Without Sadhu Sangha, you cannot advance. As she gives two, three Example. examples. So we have come for these things and you are invited for these things. Hmm? Always keep in your mind. Sri Chaitanya Mano Bhishtam Sthapitang Jena Bhutale. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu knew the mode of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He knew the heart of Chaitanya and he established. We should all top to bottom. Everyone should try to know your Gurudev heart and try to establish it. Don't quarrel. It may be so many things, problems. But try to forget all kinds of troubles. What your Guru Dev wants? What your Guru Parampara wants? What Krishna and Mahaprabhu and his associates want? Hmm? I told so many times that you should have a preaching center. Why? To give proper respect to seniors. If you are quarreling and not giving proper respects to seniors, you cannot advance an inch even. So, to train them prop to give proper respect, this is necessary. A preaching center also. Where we should forget all our quarrels and be in one opinion that how we can fulfill the desire of our Guru, Guru Parampara, and how we can achieve this rare, oh, what I told you, Adav Sadda, and in the last Suddha Sattva, Vishesh Atma, and in the last Prem, and then you will come Snehmat, Pranay, Raghun, Raghbhav, Mahabhav and so many things. 
डोंट वेस्ट योर टाइम ए मोमेंट इवेन नेवर सो आई हैव कम टू रिमेम रिमाइंड यू ऑल दीज थिंग्स बट सीनियर्स ऑल्सो गिव प्रॉपर ऑनर टू जूनियर ऑल्सो एंड लव एंड अफेक्शन एंड हेल्प देम इट हैज बीन टोल्ड ईश्वरे प्रेम प्रेम कृपा उपेक्षा दिस वे शुड फॉलो प्रेम टू कृष्ण वल्ली राधा कृष्ण महाप्रभु एंड फोर काइंड्स ऑफ और थ्री काइंड्स ऑफ एक्सचेंज बिटवीन वैष्णव वैष्णव सीनियर वैष्णव शुड बी ऑनर्ड एट गिवेन रेस्पेक्ट equal dandat pranam and all the, all these things and juniors oh sadhu sang you will have to give and those who have no respect for krishna or anything upeksha neglect but those who are not in line but innocent eh? innocent we should try to help them as we are doing then our mission will be success go premanande oh, one thing one request that you all brajballa prabhu always try to i give respect to brajballa prabhu myself he is very much qualified so always try to give him respect like shiksha guru you can you can learn so many things don't see any loophole to anyone anyone otherwise loophole will come and thus in one opinion you should make a preaching center very soon by the grace of lord you have collected one place and very good situation very soon you should meet there keeping up all quarrels and difference of opinion so very soon i in coming year i may stay there in the good lecture hall and i will see that all sanyasi brahmachari lady devotees are all very high class of gold prema <laughs> krishna chaitanya prabhu